Well, good Saturday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest and uh, you're ready for the weekend. Maybe take a little break, um, get refreshed, and then to church on Sunday. The book of James, chapter 5. Chapter 5 and verse... Let's see here. Verse 13, is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church. Let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he hath committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. There are certain things in these scriptures that we read that uh, if, if we do them uh, differently than what it says, and, and a lot of the time we do, maybe we won't get the uh, same results. For those that are afflicted, let them pray. And usually what happens when you're afflicted, uh, if you're having pain yourself or someone in your family, you begin to pray for them. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. And usually we'll find people that are happy or uh, in a good mood, maybe whistling a tune or singing. But he's talking about singing a psalm, a, a spiritual psalm. Is any sick among you? Let him call. For the elders of the church now sometimes uh, someone else may say hey i would like for you to anoint this brother but the scripture says for him the person that is sick uh, to call because it shows first that man's faith or that woman's faith uh, in not just in um, the elders of course but in prayer itself and then let the elders pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if you have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. That's one of the most important parts right there, I think. Because you can be sick, uh, and one of these days we're going to pass from this life anyhow. But uh, if we've committed sin, that those sins would be forgiven. Then he says, confess your faults one to another. No, we don't always do that. Um, there are times that we are we don't hold in confidence anybody uh, that would come to us. We are afraid to tell them any of our faults or down falls, uh, but we do have them. And uh, maybe you can find a person. That's a good thing about a prayer partner or somebody that you can come close to and uh, just talk about your situation maybe and allow them to pray for you as well. But it says, and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Effectual fervent prayer. Serious. I mean, putting everything else aside, praying for that person like they were your own child or or brother or, or husband or wife or mother or father. Um, but then it says that that prayer of that righteous man availeth much. Well... You can't leave out that part too. Not self-righteous, but righteous man. Um, a person who puts their hope and their confidence and their faith uh, in God. So about prayer today, this song says, When I pray. <clears throat> I haven't sang it for a while, but we'll see how it goes here. It's important. Let's don't forget to pray. Uh, we have, at our church, we have a prayer chain. Sometimes if you follow this Facebook page, you'll see that we have other pages that we uh, pray for folks and it's important more important than to hear the gossip of who's sick and how they're doing but is to pray for that person the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much when my life has been surrounded by sorrow and burdens seem to darken my way then I know it's time I had a talk with Jesus and everything looks brighter when I pray when I'm pouring out my heart and soul 
I can almost see the dark clouds roll away. The Lord is always there in time of trouble. And everything looks brighter when I pray. When I pray, I know that things will turn out better. If I never cease to praise Him each day, I'm so glad I found a blessed friend like Jesus. And everything looks brighter when I pray. When I'm pouring out my heart and soul to Jesus, I can almost given us, God. We thank you for the opportunity to look into your word. We're thankful that prayer is a communication line and that you can speak to us through your word. Uh, and God, we speak to you through prayer. God, I pray that you would bless those that hear this today, encourage them, strengthen them, give them the help they have need of. Lord, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, folks, I I uh, hope you get to attend uh, the church of your choice um, Sunday. Maybe you get back out into the house of the Lord and attend. Um, God loves you, and I know the church loves you, and they'd love to see you. God bless. We'll see you again on Monday.